6.7 squared minus 0 0.3 squared is equal to which one of these? Now notice it says equal to, so it's not an approximation. What exact value? Now, 6.7 is close to 7, but not 7 as yet. So we're going to take this as 7. Let's treat it as 7. I'm going to say that it's approximately equal to about 7 squared, which is going to be 49. So we treat this 6.7 as 7, and the 7 squared is 49. But we know it's a little less than 7. All right? And we're going to subtract 0 0.3 squared. Now, 3 squared is 9. And since we're multiplying 0 0.3 times 0 0.3, our answer should have 1 dp plus 1 dp. That's two decimal places. So we want to put make the 9. I have two decimal places. So how would we do that? So it's going to be 0 0.09. And if you notice, we have 2 dp now. So the 9, we start with the 9 and move two places inward. 1, 2. So that would be 0 0.09. So it's 49 minus 0 0.09. So this is taking off 0 0.09. So it's definitely going to be less than 49. So this is out. Um, this is too small in terms of 7.0. And 40.96 might be a little bit too small. So therefore, the answer should be about 44.8. So what we're going to do, we're going to basically look at a different method. Um, 6.7 squared, we can actually um, utilize something called a difference of two squares. So 6.7 squared minus 0 0.3 squared. Look at this as a squared minus b squared. Now this is called the difference of two squares. Difference because we are subtracting, finding the result. And so the result is called difference between two square numbers. Hence the term difference of two squares. Now, when we have the difference of two squares, we're going to get, in the factorized form, the sum of the roots multiplied by the difference of the roots. You could have the difference first, as in minus here and a plus here. But the order of multiplication doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if you multiply a minus b by a plus b or a plus b by a minus b. So we can recognize that the a here is like the 6.7 that we're squaring and the b is like the 0 0.3 that we're squaring and so this is going to be 6.7 plus 0 0.3 and 6.7 minus 0 0.3 now of course you can easily see that this is going to be what 6.7 plus 0 0.3 you can see that it's going to be 7 and 0 0.3 off of 6.7 we can see that is 6.4 I mean, you can add this and see, all right, easily added. So 6.4 multiplied by 7, let's look at it, 7 fours, that's 28. And 7 times 6 is 42, plus 2, 44. This answer has 1 dp, well, this quantity has 1 dp. This has 0 dp as a decimal place, or places after the point. And so the sum of the decimal place that my... That should, I should have in my answer is 1 dp. 1 dp. So therefore, I'm going to move the point one place inwards, and so my answer should be 44.8. If you want to stay on, and I could calculate the 6.7 plus 0 0.3, so you can see how I got that. 6.7 plus 0 0.3. 3 plus 7 is 10. And the 6 plus 1 here is 7. So 7.0. So we've got a 7 here. So... 6.7 minus 0 0.3, 7 minus 3, that's 4, 6 minus 0, that's 6. So we got a 6.4 here. All right.